What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an unboxing from Tackle Warehouse that is packed full of spring plastics. Some exciting new stuff that I haven't fished before, some new products on the market this year, but most of these plastics are actually for camera guy Paul, aka my co-host of the Burley Fishing Podcast, Paul Glass. You guys see him in fishing videos every now and then. It was actually his order, but he was kind enough to let me unbox it on the channel because he's a good dude. So he actually gave me free reign on this order. He said, spend 50 bucks, give me all the plastics you want. So we did that. We did exactly that. And I think he's going to be surprised in a good way about what I picked for him. And you guys let me know in the comments below as we unbox this thing. Let me know how I did, how you think I did. If any of these plastics stand out to you as ones that you wanna fish in your own local waters. And if you have any suggestions for future spring stock ups, let us know. Anything we should be having our eye on this season that we should be picking up and adding to the cart and then therefore also showing on this channel. I'd be happy to consider that hit me up in the comments below. Before we roll the unboxing, if this is your first time stopping by the channel and you like the content, consider subscribing. We do all sorts of unboxing, reviews, and fishing videos on the channel. It's a ton of fun. Love to have you here as a subscriber. And then you can smash that like on the video as well as ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more content. You could also come hang out with me and my buddy Paul every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We do a live podcast right here on YouTube. It's a ton of fun. We'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. Speaking of Paul, let's open this box for him. Okay, so it's a big old tackle warehouse order. We got lots of plastics in here. Probably like the most plastics I've ordered at one time, I think. Let's see what we got. So off the top, so you know like when you're Christmas shopping for other people and like it means you're at the store, you're perusing the internet and you see things that you like as well. You buy them one, you buy yourself one. I'm not, I can't be the only one that does that, right? You, you let me know in the comments. Do you do that? Okay, well, I did that. Uh, I saw two plastics that I knew would be good for him that he'd want. And I was like, mm, I want these two. So I ordered myself some, and that's these right here. So first up, I've been thinking about this one for a while. Mostly I want it as a trailer for chatter baits and spinner baits in red and darker colors. So this is the Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Swim On. It is sort of a, a swim craw hybrid that I'm excited to check out. Let's take a look at this thing. It's in this like red orange called Flamethrower. Oh my gosh, what a color name. Check this baby out. So ribbed midsection there gonna have a ton of action i think which looks good uh it's got sort of like a swim bait profile right little joints here towards the back to add a little more action towards this section as it tapers down into a claw that is so freaking cool so if you've thrown like craws as trailers before you'll notice like actual full-size craws are going to really slow down your bait and move it higher into the water column. If you get something like this, or I've used the Strike King Rage Tail Menace before, that works pretty good as well, but look how thin these claws are. This is borderline fluke level of just tapered plastic, so it's not going to cause too much disturbance where it's going to move my bait higher in the water column. I can fish uh, something like a chatterbait a bit deeper, but at the same time, we've got like durable plastic with his little flip flapping claws going off at the back. It's just an added different action. And it's kind of the, the perfect trailer for your, your orange, black and orange spinner baits or your red chatter baits and stuff like that, which I have and I've been looking for good options for. So I like it. I think it's a good length too. These things are coming in at 4.25 inches and you get a pack of six in here. So we got Paul one and we got me one too. Don't judge me. All right, next one that we both got. This is uh, something I'm really excited about. I actually just picked one up for Mr. Bass when we did our tackle warehouse swap. So if you haven't seen that video, link will be somewhere right here. Go watch that, go check out Mr. Bass. I think he's fished with them and maybe caught something on them, but this is just like an amazing looking bait. And now that I'm feeling it, it feels amazing too. Uh, so this is the Beast Coast, I think it's called the Marauder. So the Beast Coast Marauder, it's a 4.25 inch cross style bait check this out it's actually a, a combination between like a beaver or a bug style bait body right there you can even rip these claws off you got a decent chunk right there you can use and then it's got these giant claws look at those like two inch claws right there uh equal to about half the length of the body that's just awesome the color we went with here is pretty subtle it's uh, a lot more subtle than i thought it was going to be based on the pictures but i guess i'm okay with that it's a purple pumpkin truce so it's like a green pumpkin it's supposed to have hints of purple in it 
guess I'm seeing that outside the light here. I'm seeing it. So it's kind of like a darker green pumpkin slash purple on this side. It's a two tone and on the back side, hints of chartreuse there. You can kind of see it from the side actually a little bit better. There it is. So lighter colors there on the top side, but all in all, this is just a crazy looking cross style bay. It looks like you could punch with this. We're definitely going to be flipping this a lot. I'm going to Tokyo rig. This is what I'm most excited to do with this Tokyo rig it. And uh, otherwise just Texas rig and flip it around. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna look good in the water. I love these style baits a lot. Looks similar to like a missile baits D-bomb to me, just with like better claws and more appendages. I think it's cool. So a little different profile and presentation. I'm excited to throw it. They're injected with a craw oil blend, it says here. So that's cool. It says the claws are splay out on the fall and they're designed to vibrate on the retrieve. Nifty, I like it. But yeah, Beast Coast makes some good products. I've been seeing a lot of them. I haven't fished any of them yet. Um, I know they're good based on other fishermen and women's reviews, so I'm excited to try them myself. So I got two, one for me, one for Paul. Basically the instructions Paul gave me, by the way, were like some paddle tails, swim baits, uh, tubes, craws, that's it. That is like spring stock up stuff we're throwing right now. So I combined some of that. In this case, it's a, a cross slash tube. Uh, these are chompers in sprayed grass. This is a craw tube. So let's check this out. Sorry, Paul, I have to rip this open, but you're gonna fish them anyways, so deal with it, bruh. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, it's juicy. Whoa! Oh my gosh. That has got a scent, and they are heckin' juicy, you guys. Holy cow, these are sweet! All right, so it's a four-inch tube. Check this out. Sprayed grass, so purple, chartreuse, yeah, baby. If you don't know, it's essentially the official colors of burly fishing, purple and chartreuse, so just so you know, there it is. Uh, but it's also like an amazing color combination that's working really great right now. Spring runoff, chartreuse, great in the muddy water, purple, great in the muddy water. Put the two together, absolutely hammer them. So this is a craw tube, it's essentially a tube with claws. That, that, that's it, that's really it all is. You can see it's kind of dripping a little bit. These things are moist, woof, very moist. Okay, so I got tons of little tentacles like you normally do on a tube down here. It's all juiced up, hollow body, right? Normally what you get out of a tube, oh my, it's just, it's just dripping everywhere. It's absolutely disgusting. I love it. Oh my God, look at how much is coming off this end. <laughs> that's crazy, but I love it. Action looks great. This thing's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and put that away and uh, go get some paper towel. Okay, rolling with the tubes for a second. These I'm pumped about, and I know Paul likes X Zone. I do as well. I think they're a pretty rad company. So we got the X Zone X tube right here. This color, I believe, is called Touchdown. I think that's what it's saying it is. It looks to be like a, a goby color, that green pumpkin with purple and gold flake, and a blue. These are super salted. You can see all the salt on the surface there. I love salty tubes, personally. Make it more dense, sink down. Uh, we typically fish these tubes in the river and uh, anywhere we find a dam, they just absolutely crush smallies and pike and really any species that you can find there. They're pretty great. So this is a two-tone color. We've got green pumpkin, with that purple and gold flake here on this side. And then you flip it over, you got that blue. Check that out. So. I think that looks pretty gosh dang good. Uh, it's a good size tube. This is probably the most common size we're throwing. This is a uh, 3.75 inch. So like that three to four inch range, we're throwing a lot of those size tubes tend to work. And I mean, it's, it's basically river season. Lakes are just starting to pick up. Rivers are, are in heat. They are crushing right now. So we're gonna want those. And if we want absolutely invincible tubes, I decided to pick up some of these. So we got some Z-Man TRD tubes. I, I would argue like a very popular Z-Man color. This one's called Drew's Craw. So it's some um, green pumpkin, red and gold flake with silver on the back there. Uh, so it just gives us a different variation to throw, but it's Z-Man Elastec, man. So it's a hollow body tube still, still hollow, right? Got your tentacles, got your action going on there. You can thread this on a tube jig is what I would probably do or uh, an EWG. Ned, like the, the pro bullets that Z-Man makes would be fantastic, then it'd be weedless. 
uh, or you know any any of the EWG Ned style heads probably would work with this too. I've used Owner, Lifted. There's tons out there, but. Rigging it up that way is a great option or smaller size EWG hook with a weight up on top and we can do this. We'll peg that weight if we're around the dams or something like that and it'll get snagged a little bit less, but this thing's invincible. You can drop shot this too. I mean, it looked great. Too many options. Figured why the heck not? You get six of them and this is a, a finesse tube. It's a finesse tube. It's 2.75 inches, so it's a bit smaller than those other tubes. But that gives us like three variations. We have the four inch big boy with the claws on it. Uh, those super juiced up. We got the X zone, which is 3.75 inches. And then we got the 2.75 inch finesse option with the Z-Man. So just wanted to give my boy some variety, you know? Rest of this is swim baits. Uh, so I had to pick these up just cause I myself have three packs of these that I've got to go fish plus the craws that I really got to do some work on. We got some bellows gills here. So I figured I'd grab the bellows gill give Paul a shot so we can throw them too. I gave him a different color. Uh, of course, this is all in Japanese, so I have no idea what color that was. Neon Gill, thank goodness for the sheet. So this is the five pack that you get in the smaller sizes. These are the 3.8 inchers. And I think that's probably the go-to size for us. I think that's the size we should be throwing. I like these. Pull out my dinner plate here, hang on. Oh yeah, yeah. It smells like Doritos, nacho cheese, I've mentioned before. Maybe even Fritos, maybe even, you guys remember Bugles? This might be more like Bugles, like corn chips. You let me know. Comment below what you think Bellows Gills or G-Crack products, their plastics smell like. But anyway, so this is the Neon Gill. It's got sort of this like dirty white color on the back and you go over to the top. We've got all this like green flake, a little bit of like that shiner flake in there as well, that electric shiner in there. You guys know the drill. If you saw me unbox these before, I did a whole video on them. It's got a thicker head portion here for rigging. They're fairly durable. I've rigged a, the craws and these gills a few times now. Haven't fished them too hard. I'm going to commit to them for one day, I promise. Uh, the, the, the bite is turning on, so it's about time that we should do that. But Pretty durable, amazing action. I mean, even just now looking at it, you got the little tickle tail there. Awesome shape, can rig them a million different ways. I like it. And with the addition of this color, we've now got like four or five different colors from G-Crack that we can test out that I'm pumped about. There we go. Everything's messy today. <laughs> Next two bags I grabbed here were the Gary Yamamoto Customs the Zacco. Zacco, Zacco, whatever. Four inch swim bait. These things are sweet. If you guys haven't fished them before, they are pretty, Awesome. I mean, it's Yamamoto, so you know it's some solid quality. Got two colors here that we picked up. Number one is Electric Shad, that's this boy right here. And then we picked up, called Sight Flash. So it's uh, a clear with silver flake and pearl top. I think that is a color that Paul's gonna like for sure because he's got tons and tons of paddle tails in that color. And then just to throw a darker pattern, we got the Electric Shiner here as well. Look at that. The flake in that thing is nuts. But these have a crazy amount of action thanks to these little joints on the back end here. And the way that they're set up, they catch water and it just pushes them side to side, giving it a more like natural paddling action. And you got a little lip, check this out, on the tail. You kidding me? You kidding me? Also got a little hook keeper hider section in there as well. Lots of ways we can rig these. Right now we're gonna be rigging them on chatter baits, spinner baits, and underspins the most, but gives us uh, clear stain, dirty water conditions covered between these two colors. So should be good stock up items for him. I think he will be happy. The last two are some of my favorite paddle tail baits. So these are the Swing Impacts Fat from Kytec. We got a 4.8 inch. It's this one right here in uh, one of my favorite colors. They smell shrimpy. This green pumpkin chartreuse. It's a fantastic color pattern for the dirtier waters right now. And I just love the action on these things. Pretty durable, uh, much more durable. These swing impacts, the fat edition are much more durable than the smaller ones that you get in the little tiny packs. Those things fall apart on me super fast, but more durable plastic, easy rigging, tons of different ways we can use this. It's a great paddle tail to be thrown around. Again, underspin spinner bait, chatter bait kind of the play at this moment. And finally, the one I'm most excited about him seeing, cause I don't think he can fathom uh, just the, the, the sheer profile that this is gonna put off in the water, if that's the right word I'm looking for. We don't throw baits this big. 
This is a 6.8 inch from Kytec. These things are absolute monstrosities. Uh, I can't wait to fish these around. I think they're great. I thought when I got the Sixth Sense whales, I was getting giant baits. No, 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 no. Check this baby out. Are you kidding me? Here, just on my hand. <laughs> Whoa. This color right here is chartreuse shad. So we've got the chartreuse top. You guys know we throw a lot of chartreuse around here because it just straight produces white and chartreuse all day long, all year round. Great color to be thrown. Um, but here we go. So huge profile, huge body to this. Can be rigged to, obviously needs to be rigged to much bigger hooks. So uh, at minimum, like a six or seven aught, but probably like a seven, eight aught hook is what we're going to be rigging this up to. This is not going to be a good spinnerbait trailer or chatterbait trailer unless we get a really, really big chatterbait, like a one ounce or something. So this is going to be most likely just belly weighted hook, straight swam, or underspins, I think would be a good option too. But these things are just heckin' dope. We got some big swim plastics and very soon, you guys are gonna see uh, some, some dedicated videos where we go out and we just fish the hard and soft swim baits that we have, because we've been stocking up on them. We've been meaning to do it. We got the rod and reel setups for them. We need to just go do it. So we'll commit, I promise, it'll be a fun day. Uh, whether we catch anything or not, we're going to get a lot of practice and we're going to learn a lot. So if you guys are already out there throwing bigger swim baits, uh, whether the plastics or the hard swim baits, let us know. Any tips you got, anything you think we need to know where to fish, how to fish, anything like that. We already got the rig, so don't worry about that. But I appreciate any tips. This is a channel a community built around learning and getting better. Nobody here is like the keeper of all answers, but we like to share tips as much as we can. And I appreciate all you guys for participating in that. It's a ton of fun. I love being in this community. So there we have it, guys. Like I said, let me know below in the comments, how do you think we did with this? Do you think we hooked up camera guy Paul pretty well? I think we did. I think there's no way he's gonna be mad about this. Quick recap, we had the green pumpkin chartreuse swing impacts. 4.8 inch. We had the 6.8 inchers in Chartreuse Shad. We had the two Yamamoto Zakos in the Sight Flash and Electric Shad. Lots of paddle tail options there. And some Bellows Gills because we got to do a day where we fish just these. We got some Chompers tubes, the most freaking juicy tubes I've ever seen. Still disgusting all over the place. X-Zone tubes, the X-Tube and the Touchdown. The Marauder from Beast Coast. That thing is gonna be sweet. Those Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Swimmins. Swimmins, Swimmons, whatever. TRD, the real deal, the Turb Tubes. Invincible Finesse Tubes. And I got myself too. Can you really be a good gift giver if you don't give yourself a gift? Think on that. So if you guys like the unboxing, you wanna see more unboxings like this, as well as fishing tackle and gear reviews and fishing videos, we do it all here on the channel. So I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content and smash the like on this video. It helps us out a ton. I appreciate you very much for it. And come hang out with me Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's a ton of fun. By the way, we give away a $25 gift card to monsterbass.com which is packed full of tackle and apparel, like burly fishing gear, every single week. So just by attending our lives, you got a chance to win. It's a ton of fun, it's a great community. Everybody has a lot of fun on those lives. I'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video today, guys. I hope to see you on the next one, and until then, I'll see you out on the water.